Hello, and thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Mademoiselle Lena, and you can find me online at www.conjurenits.com. I can also be found on Facebook at the Collegium of Arcane Studies. I will drop a link in the description box below. Today we are doing the weekly tarot cast for December 20th through the 26th. We are going to be using the Tarot Seren. This is a Tarot de Marseille deck by the Wandering Oracle. And you can find them online at wanderingoracle.com. I got these up in Portland in March, right before the pandemic started at the Northwest Tarot Symposium. Had an awesome time there. It was so much fun. And these guys that created these cards are amazing. They are just so sweet. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what we're going to have for this week. All right, Spirit. December the 20th through the 26th. I do want to go ahead and invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the like and Comment in the comment section. Let me know if this reading resonates with you. And if it does, you know, throughout the week, you can come back and comment and let me know how it's going. So I would love to hear from you guys. I also want to let you know that I am running a special on my readings. Uh, they are currently at $1 per minute. So you can check that out on my website. I will put a link in the description box below, or you can simply go over to conjuremits.com. I will pop a link right up here for you. Okay, let's see what we got. December the 20th through 26th. Let's see, do I have any more announcements? Conjur Crew is on Thursday evenings right here on my YouTube channel. Um, we haven't done the last couple of weeks. December is really, really a busy month, especially with the holidays. You know, we just had Hanukkah, um, Yule and Christmas are coming up. You know, it's just a very, very busy time for everyone. I'll see if we can get it something put together for you this Thursday. If not, I may come on and do free readings during that time. I usually do free readings on Tuesday evenings on my channel. Um, those are just a few more reasons why you should subscribe. Okay, give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. Like it, just you know, keep on scrolling. All right, so December the 20th through 26th. Oh, and just in case you missed it in my newsletter, I am teaching a puppet magic class on February the 7th at 4 p.m. That is on a Sunday. Um, if you would like to receive the supplies for the class, it needs to be paid for by January 21st. I do accept Square on my website. Um, if you would prefer to pay with Cash App um, for either the readings or the class, shoot me an email. My email is conjurenits at icloud.com. Shoot me an email and say, hey, I want to make an appointment, but I want to pay via Cash App. And we'll work out the details. It's not a problem. Not a problem at all. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to this week's reading. Number one, card number one. What spirit will be most present this week? And we have the Four of Wands. Now, this is the one that's most present this week. This is like a, you see how it's there, the 
the ones are crisscrossed. It's like they're locked, right? You see this here, how they're, they're woven in. You see that center? They're not laid across each other. They're kind of woven in. This is, things are at a stalemate. Things are at a standstill. It's like, hmm, not quite sure what to do. Maybe it's that you just don't have the energy to do anything else. But things are just kind of, uh, just kind of stopped for right now. This could be in your relationship. It depends on what context um, you are in, in your frame of mind this week. So it could be a relationship is, you know, kind of, you're just kind of stuck. That you, the spirit that'll be most prevalent with you this week is the feeling of being kind of stuck, just at a standstill. Okay, but let's keep going here. And card number two, what is in my highest interest to make this week's priority? Ah, and we have the moon. Now, the moon is about things that are hidden. If you look here, there's a lobster down here. Let me get this a little closer for you. You have a lobster down here. You also have a mermaid swimming because these are things that are hidden in the depth of the waters. Okay, but the moon here, you can very clearly see that the moon is, is bringing light on the land, okay? And then you've got these two dogs, could be wolves, but they're, you know, some kind of canine creature here howling at the moon and it's kind of lit up. So the moon is about bringing these things that are hidden down here in the depths up to the surface so that they can be seen, right? So it could be, what is in my highest interest to make this week's priority? It could be working on your shadow self to bring those things to light and really work on those things. Though so your shadow um, may be what's causing this stalemate here. It also could be that, that, you know, someone's keeping secrets, whether that person is you or it could be another person there's definitely secrets here because this these are things that are hidden and and needs to be brought up to the surface into the light but but also also with the dogs here there could be you know some yelling and screaming going on some howling at the moon this could be a party too as well getting out in the fresh air getting out in the fresh air you know celebrating in the moonlight but being outside you know in a safe environment so that you can breathe you can take a deep breath and let out your howl oh you also hear my dog so i'm so glad they're outside right now because they would just probably go nuts um but anyway yeah especially with it being a holiday week too if you're going to be doing your celebrations i would highly suggest that if you do get together with other people, at least at the bare minimum, make it an outside celebration. Get some of that fresh air. But don't forget, it could be secrets. It could be things hidden. It could be your shadow self that you need to work on to um, get out of this rut that you're in here. Okay, and card number three, what do I need to be mindful of and prepare for? And we have the Two of Cups. This is really good. Two of Cups is about relationships. It's about a couple. It's about a partnership, a coming together. You know, be, you, you know how you have two cups to toast, right? Um, so this could go back to being a celebration too, toasting at a celebration. But, you know, it's in a, in a partnership kind of way, whether it's a romantic partnership, someone you work with, it could be family, but, you know, it's, it's a partnership of two people, of, at a minimum of two people. Hmm. Okay, so when you get two people together, you've got two unique individuals, okay, that means you have two unique brains, two unique ways of thinking. They are not exactly the same. It could be that these two 
individuals think along the same lines and that's why they're together in a partnership but you really need to be careful too um, and remember that we are each unique individuals and we don't we have our own ways of thinking because you see these two um, eels here how they're twisted together because they have formed this bond right but they're facing each other now i will tell you this they will eat each other they will bite the head off of the other one if allowed to okay so kind of watch your p's and q's so you feel like okay let's go back over this a little bit oh sorry i have so many allergies um the spirit that will be most present this week is a feeling of kind of blah like you're stuck you've been stuck inside for nine months okay we know it's hellish you want to get outside you want to have the holiday separate uh, celebrations but at least do it outdoors okay get some fresh air do it outdoors i know you want to get out and howl at the moon be with your people be with your partner when you're getting together with other people watch your p's and q's watch what you say i mean you know be yourself but at the same time be considerate of others because if not it could lead to an argument and you end up biting each other's heads off so you need to be mindful of and prepare for that otherwise it looks like a good week it kind of starts off uh, but i think i really feel like that's because we're all kind of uh this past nine months being locked up inside basically get out get some fresh air but be mindful and do it in a safe way i really really encourage you to be safe about it you know you want to do a family barbecue and you've got three people living in your home but you call over your mom and your dad or you call over your mom and your sister don't make it 40 something people don't don't try to do another thanksgiving okay because this is not over i'm by a long shot i'm telling you guys this is not over there are other countries you know i'm here in the united states and we really really need to get our act together and get this shit under control other countries are locking down again not for the first time not for the second time but for the third time so be very mindful be smart about how you're doing things if you don't think you're going to get it at least be mindful of other people who are more susceptible than you okay just i mean you don't even want your kid to get the flu right so why 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 do you not give a shit? and i'm not speaking directly at anybody i'm saying in general why do people in general not give a shit about corona this thing is worse than the flu, but it's whatever, I guess each, to each their own, right? I can't tell you what to do. I can only encourage you that if you do get together, please do it outdoors and in a small group. Don't do 40 people or whatever. And when you're in a group with other people, even if it's just you and your partner, watch what you say, have a good time, be mindful of their opinions, don't get into ridiculous arguments, okay, and end up biting each other's heads off, which can often happen at family gatherings. So just be careful of that and enjoy your holidays. Enjoy your week. Um, I'm going to be dropping some links in the description box below. If you would like to donate, that would be greatly appreciated. If you would like to join me for my puppet class. That would be amazing. Or if you just would like a more personal and in-depth reading, I am available for that as well. I will put all those links in the description box below. I hope you all have a very amazing and happy week. Love you bunches. To find out more about Mademoiselle Lena or to book a reading, please visit us online at www.conjurenits.com.
That is C-O-N-J-U-R-E-K-N-I-T-S dot com.